Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and for our second video today we're going to have a look at the latest on the temperatures. Now I'm recording this around 5pm so for most areas we have peaked in terms of temperatures today and as expected we smashed the all time temperature record and as expected we have broken 40 degrees. Not quite getting up towards that 41, 42 degree range that was possible. We capped up around 40 uh, point alert, sort of one, two, three in quite a few places. So hit a bit of a cap there, um, but we have seen ridiculous conditions and there are very dangerous conditions continuing through this evening with many wildfires and things going on like that. Um, so if you want details for that, to so make sure you do head over to the news channels. They are covering it quite thoroughly. We're going to primarily look at the temperatures we've seen today and also look at the future as well, what's going to be happening over the course of this evening and tomorrow as there are quite a few thundery showers potentially around. Now we did post a video earlier where we was primarily looking at those thunderstorms and the risk over the next couple of days and the longer term as well. So if you want a detailed look at that, do check out that video from earlier. If you do want to have a look at the temperatures, we'll stay on this video and we'll be running that in detail now. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, links in description. So if you start on a, uh, on a Met Office tweet that was put out only a short time ago. These were the latest temperatures at 4 p.m. from the Met Office. It's the most official temperatures we can find. There are many other, webs other websites, other Twitter pages posting numbers, um, and they're all unofficial. The only official you really can say is from the Met Office, and even here they say these are provisional temperatures. They can deviate, but because we have and about five weather stations at 40 degrees and above, we can pretty much guarantee say, okay, guarantee uh, and say that it is, we have seen above 40 degrees today. Because of course we can see one or two weather stations fault here or there, but we're not gonna see all five of these. And these are a wide range of areas. Coningsby further northwards, we've got uh, the London stations as well. And there are other stations as well that are edging that 40 degree mark. And that could come out over the next couple of hours, a couple of days, because remember, some of these weather stations don't report every hour. Some of them report twice a day, once a day. Some of them only manual reporting. So we will see the true peak temperature probably in the next 24 to 48 hours. But at the moment of the automated weather stations, the official Met Office and Environmental Agency uh, weather stations, we have got 40.3 degrees as our new UK highest temperature in Coningsby. Um, yeah, so ridiculous temperatures, broken the all-time temperature record by 1.6 degrees, and we even passed that uh, 38.7 degrees that we saw back in 2019. We passed that around midday, so we absolutely smashed it today, and multiple stations broke this. We could still, as I said, see some warming in a few spots, but I'm not expecting to see any new records uh, post 4 p.m. There could be retrospective changes, as I said, from weather station reporting, changes, things like that, but 40.3 degrees does look our pretty much our maximum temperature today. Another tweet we've just seen from the Met Office is at least 29 observation state, uh, sites at this stage across England have provisionally broken the previous all-time maximum UK record of 38.7 degrees. And the biggest thing about this is it stretches such a wide range all the way up in Yorkshire, if we do play it, all the way up in Yorkshire, spreading southwards all the way down through uh, the Midlands as well, into East Anglia, the London area as well, ridiculously widely above 39 degrees. And you can see Coningsby, just if we just rewind that briefly, you can see Coningsby there, just in to northeast England, near Yorkshire there, uh, Coningsby up there, giving us our 40.3, because you're widely around it, high 39s. And if you run right, run right to the end, you can see 40s as well in London. And of course, there's loads of gaps here. There'll be other amateur weather stations. So I'm sure other areas peaked at 40 degrees as well. We could see, as I said, retrospective higher than 40.3 degrees. But at this stage, the record is 40.3 degrees. Pretty much what we did expect. Could have reached 41, 42 on a different day, but 40.3 degrees, widely, oppressively hot, dangerously hot, as I said, with a lot of wildfires going on, a lot of uh, water rescues, a lot of water deaths we've been seeing over the last couple of days. And again, those are not directly from the heat, but they are secondary impacts. Um, that is why we have seen a red warning put in force for this. And you can see we also broke the all-time uh, minimum our uh, highest minimum temperature from 9am to 9am. 9, uh, 9 
and you can see we broke 24.5 degrees in Wales and 25.8 degrees in Kenley in England, exceeding the previous high of 23.9 degrees in Brighton in 1990. So ridiculous, 1.9 degrees beaten there, beat the all-time temperature record by 1.6 degrees. So today we didn't just edge the records like we have previously, we didn't just break them by a, a half a degree or so, we broke them by almost two degrees ridiculous this is just another level of heat and widely we saw low 20s for our highest uh, high U uk overnight temperatures we saw widely in the low to mid 20s so yeah ridiculously oppressive but luckily it is going to be reducing now if we have a look at the net weather he's got different weather um sites as well on it including the ones the met office have put up and you can see these are the top 20 net weather uh, sites, the ones they report on. And you can see the 20th one is 39 degrees, and that is higher than the all-time temperature record. And you can see from the timing, so we did see some peak at midday. So Northolt got to 39 degrees at midday. It's retrospectively got higher than that. Heathrow peaked at 1 p.m. at 40.2 degrees. And you see others like Waddington getting towards 39.5 degrees at 5 p.m. So the heat is peaking at different points across the country. We have got a bit of a breeze out there now that could be contributing to the reduction in temperatures towards the London area, which have seemed to peak slightly earlier further northwards into Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, they've peaked a little bit later. So that could be something, but we'll have to look at that and see what experts and that sort of say over the next couple of days. Um, but unfortunately, even though there has probably uh, prohibited, prohibited those temperatures in London from sort of 2 p.m. onwards, it has stoked those wildfires, unfortunately, that have spread through grassland and houses at the moment. And of course, I'm praying for anyone who is being impacted by that. I know there are quite a few people being evacuated as I speak. So hopefully, as the course of this evening goes, we should see some cloud over, maybe some precipitation as well. Hopefully that will help over the course of this evening. Another way to view those temperatures, this is at just past 5 p.m. This is from Meteo Seal showing those temperatures today. And you can see it is a lot cooler in the west because we do have a weather front. We'll have a look at the live radar in a minute. And you can see the weather front progressing in, cooling things down significantly. But you can see across eastern Scotland, 31 degrees. Western Scotland, 13 degrees. So big, big temperature contrast. And you can see that bullseye temperatures from London area stretching to East Anglia up towards Lincolnshire and Yorkshire seeing 40 degrees there and widely 37 to 39 degrees. There's a 40 degree there just in that London area, but it's getting swamped by all of those weather stations. You can see across parts of Southwest, there were sort of low 30s yesterday, but back down to the low 20s, and that's what everyone is gonna be seeing tomorrow. A few areas in East Anglia could hold on to the 30 degrees, as we'll see in a minute. We'll just briefly go through the UKV. It does a couple, uh, areas reach 30 degrees but the majority of areas are back towards the mid to low 20s so those oppressive temperatures we have had over today will be going but it will be slow progress this evening as the weather front does progress eastwards so if you do want to have a look at your weather station or your local weather station on this chart do go over to meteo seal uh, and you'll be able to hover over these stations and have a look here so um let's just pick a random one further northwards you can see shap is at 3 p.m 250 altitude was recording 27.4 degrees and you can have a look on the chart see where the nearest weather station is to you and you can press on this so if we do go to humberside which has reached 40 degrees today you can see uh, how the temperature has progressed over the course of a day. It's dipped at times, but it's peaked at 4 p.m. And you can see the pressure, the humidity, and you can also have a look at uh, the heat index as well. Wind speed, you can see the wind has picked up throughout the day. Uh, and you can see, yeah, humidity as well. So you can see that again in chart format as well. So if you want to have a look at that, do check that out. And that should give you some data on what you've been seeing today. So if you have observed it getting a little bit cooler at times, or you think it really got hot at some point, you could perhaps look at this and see the wind speed picked up then, the humidity dropped then, or the temperatures picked up as well. So do check that out if you are interested. So finally, if we do have a look for the temperatures, have a look over on the weather channel at the live radar at just past 5 p.m. Now you can see this weak weather front that is, well, it's, it was a pretty strong weather front, but it's now weakening a bit, spreading eastwards. And this is where we saw some intense thunderstorms in the southwest. That's what we looked at earlier, and we had, uh, and we predicted these would be progressing eastwards and potentially intensifying in the evening. And there is still the possibility of that. There were some thunderstorms 
forecasted for South East Scotland, North East England. There is a warning in force this evening. Yet to see those form, but there is models going for that. Uh, UKV is going for thunderstorms across Northern England. So I have to see how that progresses over this evening. But it also does look like behind this, a lot of more instability and some severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Some heavy rain in the west as well. Uh, and, and I'll just briefly say, if you do want to have a look more on that thunderstorm risk, do check out the video from earlier, as I do go into that quite detailed. But the weird thing about this weather front is it doesn't look too intense along it at the moment, but there is a massive temperature contrast. 35 to 40 degrees ahead of it, 25 degrees behind it. In some areas at the moment, just starting to tap into that cool air from Liverpool, down through Wrexham, into the West Midlands, towards Oxfordshire, and central southern England, starting to cool down. And this should progress further eastwards into London area, into other areas that are affected by those wildfires, should reduce the temperatures down, should bring a bit of cloud. So if there's none of these fires will start from the sun if we do get a bit of cloud in and hopefully some of this precipitation will pep up and it should give a little bit of fire relief but over the coming hours i'm expecting some more heavy precipitation some thundery weather to form along this and i do expect tomorrow some more thundery weather as well now if we have a look at these two meter temperatures you can see the massive contrast these pinks showing 40 degrees but to the west, reds and oranges showing much cooler conditions. And you can see in the intense parts of the precipitation cooling down much, much faster here. And this will progress eastwards. So you can see still got this bullseye area across the East Midlands, North East England, East Anglia, the London area, into the southeast of England. But it is shrinking. And you can see it across Europe, uh, Europe as well, into France as well, with this weather front progressing in across Spain and Portugal as well. Now, if you run it back briefly, just have a look at what it was doing a few hours ago. You can see these pinks were much further westwards, and this weather front was sat uh, about 50 to 100 miles further westwards. So it is making slow progress, but it is cooling it down as it does. And hopefully all these areas in the intense heat at the moment, by around sunset this evening, around 9, 10 p.m., a lot more of this will be into those cooler air masses, at least progressing into the London area around 10 p.m. hopefully and later than that further eastwards. So by tomorrow morning all areas are back in the fresher air. Now if you have a look at the weather warnings we've of course got the extreme heat warnings still in force at the moment and if we do have a look we do have a yellow thunderstorm warning that's been put in force 4 p.m. today until 8 p.m. this evening. So by the live radar, we're not seeing anything happen at the moment, but by the time I release this video, perhaps we do start to see those thunderstorms sort of pep up. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. Um, but the risk is there. And if we do have a look at this, you can see, whilst many places will remain dry and hot through this afternoon, ice age thunderstorms are expected to develop across northern England and far southeast of Scotland. These will move quickly north with frequent lightning and the potential for localised but very strong winds with gusts of 60 miles per hour. Any heavy rain is expected to be short-lived. So high impact, low likelihood. And there's a thunderstorm warning in force for tomorrow that we did cover in the video earlier. So do check that video out if you are interested in this in more detail. But again, heavy showers and thunderstorms may bring disruption to you Wednesday afternoon. Um, from tomorrow at 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. tomorrow. So yeah, if we do finish by just briefly going through the UKV, we did this on the video earlier, but we'll just briefly run through it now just to give everyone who's watching this video uh, an update on what is happening there. So you can see over the course of this afternoon, you can see those heavy showers breaking out across North England and Southern Scotland. We're not seeing them break out at the moment on the live radar, but they are still forecast to break out there. And you see that weak weather front progressing eastwards around 8, 9 p.m. could pep up because these some oranges and reds growing there. So probably some heavy thundery rain in places and it's moving through the London area around 9 p.m. And by midnight, all areas are in the cooler air mass, turning things much chillier. Uh, um, when I mean chillier, I mean... 10 to 15 degrees cooler than now by no means will it be chilly it'll just be back towards sort of standard heat wave conditions back towards mid to high 20s maybe 30 degrees for some tomorrow beyond that wednesday afternoon we see those heavy thundery showers break out across england and wales again and potentially across parts of scotland in a few areas again could be some big thunderstorms there but they will be isolated they'll be convective nature so very hard to forecast but generally in that yellow warning zone and over the course of the next few days, there's going to be plenty of showers around at times. Across the far southeast, we could see some persistent rain on Friday, but elsewhere it is drier before we see a weather front pushing in through Saturday into Sunday. Could give a lot of rain in the north and the west, but still central southern and eastern England still without a lot 
lot of rain. Yes, could be some thunderstorms over the next few days, but I'm not seeing any major widespread rain. Thunderstorms can produce a lot of rain in short air in small areas, but not widespread rain, which we need. We've got widespread soaking, widespread half an inch for the whole of England, Wales, and Scotland. That's what we need at the moment, but we're not seeing that on the forecast at this time. Now, if you have a look at those max temperatures, you can see how the UKV had it peaking around 41 or 42 degrees. We saw 40.3, and again, officially, we could still so that goes slightly higher than that. So 41 degrees could be rounded, could be accurate, not seeing that 42 degrees. However, those temperatures will do significantly. By midnight tonight, all areas are down into the mid to high 20s, not 30 degrees like we saw last night, or low 30s like we saw last night. And by 9am tomorrow, all areas are much more pleasant. Still mid 20s for some in East Anglia, low 20s elsewhere, which is still warm, but it is not disgustingly hot, and those temperatures won't rise too much tomorrow. We're peaking around 28 to 30 degrees in East Anglia, widely low to mid 20s elsewhere. It will continue to be warm, potentially sort of heat wave like conditions for some still getting towards that high 20s, mid to high 20s range, but still above average, but more pleasant. And by Friday, still looking pretty decent in around the mid 20s. Could be cool in the southeast with that precipitation. And by Saturday, back in the mid to high 20s, much more pleasant, still hot, warm, but nothing as hot as now, good 15 degrees cooler than now. And last thing, if we just have a look at those 850 HP temperatures, you can see the insane air mass we do have over the top of us at the moment, and by midnight tonight, it is swept away. 20 degrees, just hanging on the far east, but elsewhere, back towards the mid, mid teens, which is still heat wave air mass, heat wave type air masses, but much, much cooler than what we have now. 10 degrees cooler than what we have had and what we do have right now. So it's cooling down. The weather will be getting a little bit more settled. Some are, are thunderstorms tonight, tomorrow as well. But generally, things are going to be dying down. Things are going to be warm. They're going to be reasonably dry, but still a risk of showers and persistent rain in the north and west, maybe in the southeast on Friday as well. The heat does look like it is going to be going away, at least for a bit. Do you check out the video from earlier? We do have a look, potentially a bit more of a heat spike, maybe towards Sunday, Monday time, but nothing on this level. So it is looking like it is reducing these temperatures. So hopefully we've only got a few more hours to endure of these high 30s before the temperatures do really start to fall as that weather front does come through. So fingers crossed that weather front comes through, cools everyone down and puts a dampen on those fires we're seeing at the moment. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope everyone has coped today with our new all-time temperature record of 40.3 degrees. Can't believe I'm saying above 40 degrees, but it has happened. Um, hope you all have stayed safe. Uh, and I'll see you again for another video tomorrow. And hopefully we are back towards more normal conditions in the UK. But as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.